Hello, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. They're growing out of the closet. Oh my gosh, that's so many. That is so many boxes. All of these ones back here, my love, are all still in box in bags. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so many. You got a, such a good deal on this. Okay, let's like throw together. Uh, Hello, Beanie Baby friends. Today we're here with Beanie Baby Shauna. <laughs> so, Shauna, I'm so glad I've met you. We've been clicking so well together. It's been amazing oh, yeah. um, this past week hanging out and chatting about Beanie Babies. So why don't you go ahead and take a minute and tell everybody about your project and your channel and your Facebook page and all of that. Absolutely. Um, I ended up with an amazing find. Um, scrolling through estate sales, just kind of seeing who was getting rid of gold and not knowing it. And um, I was actually looking for comic books. <laughs> and um, I stumbled across some Beanie Babies that I had never gotten to buy as a kid. And uh, the price was, wasn't terrible, but I had watched the sales and I knew that on the last day, everything would go 50% off. And so I waited patiently almost patiently, not really patiently. And then on the last day, I bought everything, all 37 containers for $480. Whew, that is such a good deal. It is, and it's a combination of the little, the teenies, um, and the regular size. But I keep finding things that I didn't know had been created or had been worth saving. Uh, lapel pins, Happy Meal bags, and... I'll give you a, this is just the teenies. So this is a Pinchers. Does this container look 25 years old to you? Nope, they took such great care of it. She she truly did. And I, this, I went and got Happy Meals for my kids this week that did not look this good. And there's bags and bags and boxes and boxes of bags. <laughs> and so I'm just, I, I, I just got them for nostalgia's sake to see what I could see and which ones I could snuggle on. And um, I have no intention of keeping them all because I have toddlers and I could never intend to keep them as safe as this woman had. And um, so I'm going to, we're going to be selling everything um, and donating some of the proceeds to different charities. Um, and then one of the main charities being my home mortgage. So, but the other ones um, will be listing on my Facebook page here shortly. Uh, and some of those started to, some of them had never been opened. Sure. And I got goosebumps and I panicked and I just put them back. <laughs> I, I, when I, like I said, I pull out because I, they're time capsules. They've been in the boxes for 20 to 25 years which means no no odors, no, du no dust, no dirt, no, I mean, not even the wrong foul wind. And so I pull out the clean sheet, I wash my hands, take off my wedding ring so it doesn't pull on the swing tags. Sure. <laughs> Don't know what's gonna come out of here and I wouldn't wanna ruin any of the work that she had done. And so it's just, I'm just having a good time sharing it with everybody and having it, it's a, just sharing memories. Happy meals from back in the day, little toys, like, who doesn't want to see all their favorite little babies? Yes. Yes. Okay. Did you open this one already? This one here was Mystery Box 1. Okay, cool. Um, and actually, I did use my magic in Mystery Box 1. I think this is the one you and I talked about. I noticed it had the second tag on the bottom. Oh, yeah, the Canadian tag. It's almost like a really fun puzzle where I'm trying to piece together things about her I felt about that dirty eBay ones that I had to clean and stuff. Yeah. It was totally like I was finding out so much about these these yeah. girls that they were gifts from their parents and that they were twins yeah. and they were both October birthdays. Like it was really interesting yeah. how like a collection can tell you something about someone. Yeah, and all the little bits that you pick up on, and that um, and I so keep looking for as much info as I can, and. You know, I always love piecing together little puzzles. So out of, does this look like a 20 year old toy inch? Which means we have seven total so far. 
So with inches, one thing to look at is whether or not it has a yarn or a felt antenna. Okay, so this one is a yarn. And I want to say that my other ones were felt. Let me look it up in the price guide, which one's, which one's better. Okay. okay, here's inch. So if inch has a felt antenna, it could be worth $30 to $80. And if it has yarn, it's one to 10. I have six of the other one. Let's hope, let's hope that's felt on the other one. Well, and that's the funny thing is that, so she packaged the boxes as she collected. Oh. So they're not sorted. Yeah. So not the ones that I'm finding, and one box that I did find um, was specifically retired. So the other box, that had the six, uh, the other six inches. <laughs> um, that's <laughs> a joke. It's just in my blood. I don't know. Sweet mercy. I'm gonna have to hire a sitter to come over so I can pull out all the boxes. <laughs> right. Because she has some dab, she's dabbled a little bit in each one. So like this guy, Allie, his, his fish tag is brand new too. I mean, just, incredible and then i have daddy and i actually i didn't even undo the velcro because it looks so brand new but the <laughs> blue on the face on this one yeah oh yeah. i love his little nose i know i got sly so that sly is pretty common but there's a sly that has an all brown belly and that one is a little more rare okay i started finding this guy last night oh, i love inky there's a couple different different versions of that one too so look for other ones Pepper. i got another peanut i got this one i was gonna ask you because last night was my costume this little guy oh it has a bandana on that one but i didn't know if it had come with it if it's something you had seen before Right, no, it's not regulation, but it's like an add-on. It's so cute. I know, the costumes, they just tore my heart apart, let me tell you, girl. I didn't even make it through the night. And there was one, um, who is the uh, blue-eyed white tiger? There's a blizzard. Blizzard has okay. stripes. There's a stripes that has more stripes that's... Um, more rare than that one. Another Pinchers. Mystic. And Mystic. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I keep finding Teddies. Aw, kitty. It's France. There was a woman in the Facebook group that was buying bunches of kittens and then selling them for that to raise blah, 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 as a fundraiser for the Animal Rescue League. Yeah, so she was buying like, that one specifically was like a cat foster, but you know. I have every every cat and dog and their manager. Nice. Is Dobie popular? Was Dobie popular? Um, I think he's a pretty common one. Okay, cause I have an entire, she saved an entire bag of the team. Oh, cute. And then I got this one. And then we end, I have derbies in here too. And I have another Luffy. I'm just, okay, so this is what I was talking about, my love, about how once I pull them out of here, they just don't go back in. <laughs> Let me just show you this tush tag here. Who's that, Squealer? Yes. Squealer's one of my favorites. He was my first. He was the original. Yeah. Yes. I put this kid on the shelf. <laughs> I know some people had the princess and the frog, but I had different tastes. Here's one. You know, this is a rainbow. This is a tush tag rainbow with the yellow eyes. It looks like Iggy. There's this whole like article about how they got the names wrong at the factory. Like so yeah. many of them are named what seems to be wrong. Help, SOS, Beanie Baby, for the separate box. I love them. So these actually have the 
the back spine. Oh yeah! Look at that! Figgies in different colors. But see, this is where things get crazy. Because if it didn't have the spine, how would you tell? Right, it has that neck fold. So this one here with the razor back, if my lighting did him justice, the color, even this one, just the neon. The colors of them are just incredible. But to know, I put in another one of my boxes, I pulled out seven rainbows. Oh, nice. That was, that's in mystery box number three. Seven full-size neon rainbows. <gasps> Scorch. So now, now I have. Love them. How do you do that? Tell me, because I have a third one. Like, I will sell me a Game of Thrones set. Like, <laughs> the three dragons. Come on. That's a good idea. So Scorch can be more valuable if it has like purple on it. Okay. Purple in the oh. fur, people look for, but like there's people that collect, oh my gosh, there's a link on my Facebook page that they collect dragons. Not just the Thai guys, but they collect all plushy dragons and their stuff is adorable. This Blizzard. Show me the front of its tag. That's good. That's a fourth generation. Okay. So we really ideally want the tag before the yellow star. Okay. But that's okay. I don't have any of those. <laughs> really? The first three generations. <laughs> well, and I was going to ask you too, the, does the swing tag guide chart go for the swing packs to the teenies as well no okay is that a whole different whole different ball game yep okay because i i have them they're like they're old <laughs> yeah they're old, old. like i will scooch all these little guys off the bed here and we'll just go whip out another one well there can't be many more in there uh <laughs> They just keep coming and coming. <gasps> I hadn't even made it. I told you I hadn't made it to the bottom girl. This is, what it, this is one box. Yes. Oh my gosh. The colors on this rainbow that fell down are gorgeous. Oh, that's an Iggy. Right, that one. It's an Iggy. That's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that rainbow. That's gorgeous. Oh, and I love how yellow on one side and pink on the other. That's really nice. I rig my phone in here to film I, like that. Actually, I read this funny thing. Um, mom hacks for moms with boys. I've seen a few moms make phone stands out of Legos. Oh, sure. I can do that. Hi, darling. So I don't know if you want to box ready it's a mystery box okay so i'm gonna give you the full tour yeah does it say anything on the outside so i don't have anything on the side but you can see the tape aside and you did take a dirty box oh sorry so really hoping that means like old i mean i should I say i should say the bag is dirty right 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 it's gonna be clean on the inside yes ma'am because we know our Minnesota Nona, as I call her. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> this box says retired on one side. That's a good sign. But then it turned out to be like a whole gimmicky thing. And he just like said everything was retired just to like increase um, demand, you know. I love that filter on you. I know, thank you, I do do. Okay, I'm keeping it. I was thinking before I was just gonna edit myself out of everything. Ah, I can't wait to see. What the fuck? Okay, okay. This is the, I, you know, I know people pay to go on mystery adventures and stuff, but let me tell you. Okay, girl, here we go. there by himself. That's strange. 
Oh, nice. I had one of him, but I cut him apart to make him a two-headed bear. This is my first empty bag. Just an empty bag? You could throw that away. That's garbage. You don't need that. <laughs> so this is um, a gift from the Tampa Bay Devil Rays versus the Oakland Athletics Tropicana Field, July 26, 1998. Tropicana, Shea Stadium, Chicago White Sox versus Kansas City Royals. Tomsky Park. Sweet, Minnesota. Nona, did you go to these games alone to get out some Beanie Babies? I'm not here to judge because I fully support that decision, but I need answers. Maybe she did. Let me go. Oh, we got sweaters. Didn't actually open that other set of cards. The Beanie Baby trading card game. I know that that never really went very far. Even if these aren't worth a penny, I'm going to send them to you because I just realized what they are. Oh, it has the trivia. It has the poem, the birthday. Oh, I love it. Are those, I wonder, the cards that come in the packs? Because I saw on Facebook Marketplace, somebody was selling the packs and I wanted them, but they wanted me to meet for them. And I was like, no, can't you just mail them? And they were like, no, just come out here. And this half hour drive from me. And I was like, no, oh, thanks. Are, well, and I didn't until I reread the back of this one. It literally gave me the information you just gave me on Inch. So it says it gave the birth date and it said trivia. Inch originally came with felt antennas, but later switched to yarn. Oh, nice. So how much little bits of info do you think we can get from those? Yeah, right. That's super helpful. Well, and it appears that I have two of the same set Set one, series A. Ooh! I wonder how many series they ended up making. I know. I mean, who knows? We haven't even gotten through the box. Maybe they're all in here. Right, 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 right. Oh, we have more tickets. Oh, okay. All right, so this is Mets versus the Expos at Shea Stadium. July 98. And this one is sealed in a thing. Ooh. We have handwriting. We have handwriting. So they're not talking to us from the future. Okay. Oh, she's got counts. Okay, so she's got. She was counting boxes. But I haven't seen any numbers. So it says box it, box number one, 86 pieces, doodle and strut. And then in parentheses, it says yes. And it says new 98 all, retired, retired, doodle, strut, doodle, strut. And this side, it says the name, the names of the beanies and then what kind of animal they are. Oh, nice. So career, hissy, snake, puffer, puffin, kind of like a, a grandma guy. And then I'll show you back here. I feel like all those, all those scratch marks on it mean something too, you know? Yeah. You're not wrong. Like, I literally want to catalog all of the things I find with her handwriting and be like, what are we talking about here, Donna? Right? Tell me. tell me what you're trying to tell me. 